my Lego launch coaster, and this is me adding eight more magnets to it. So stick around to the end of the video to see how it works with 10 magnets. Here's how I mounted all 10 magnets across in a line. The track's gonna sit directly on top of them, and then there's a magnet on the bottom of the cart that's gonna be repelled by all these magnets to push the cart forward. Here's all of the magnet sensors that are basically going to tell the Arduino board when the cart's there and when to turn on which magnet. So as the cart goes over each of the magnets, they'll turn on and repel the cart forward. I just put tape underneath the track so that way I could stick each of these magnet sensors to the bottom of the tape, that way you wouldn't be able to see them. Here's the first test. It works okay, but only 60% of the magnets are working. All of the middle four are out, so I need to figure out what's wrong with them and how I can fix them. I think I figured out the problem. I intentionally twisted all of these wires to make them touch a common ground. However, I didn't really think about them being able to short like this. So if that's the case, it would just keep the magnets from working. That wouldn't be good. So let's test it after I solder them and see if it works. Well, it turned out that four of the magnets still weren't working and it had to be the resistors. The resistors that I just soldered together to try and make them work. All right, I'm gonna try and order some new resistors on Amazon. Hopefully those four resistors were just defective and I need new ones. Uh, Cause if, not, if that's not the problem, I really don't know what to do. But uh, I've bought from this company some LEDs I think before. So I'm planning on just buying these from them again and should be here tomorrow. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when part two gets released. And I hope to see you in the next one.